people who are really, who have the aspiration are just really trying to figure out how to get started, what's the advice that you would give them? To get started writing or to get started writing and then going out and playing it? Those are That's a good things. question. You can, yeah. To get started writing, um, in some of my classes for people who aren't musically trained classically, you know, and they just, I say, find a song you love and take the words off it and write your words to it and then take the melody away and write a new melody to your words. And that's, you know, that's like, you know, tinker toy songwriting to get started. Um, but that's, that's sort of the, 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 uh, the nuts and bolts of it. it. A lot of it's just figuring out what it is you want to say. If you know what you want to say, the song comes really quickly. I think it's figuring out what it is we want to say. We have such busy lives now, it's hard to hear that little quiet voice that says, I want to write a song about something from, you know, your past, something like that. Yeah. How about you all? What kind of what kind of questions would you would you have? What would you like to ask, Marty? I think this is going to be touched on a little bit more girl information, but just hearing that last song, I'm a music professor here, it's just riddled with references of theory and uh, piano without saying it. So to me, you mentioned about how you took piano at your own oboe, but did you have any kind of formal training after uh, high school oboe playing days, or because it seemed like there's more. I went to Berkeley College of Music for um, two semesters. Like many people, I dropped out of Berkeley. Um, and I went, I wanted to be a guitar student and they wouldn't let me in because I didn't, it's, they had a t at that time they had a test that said, can you play in second position? And I was a folk singer. I'm like, I don't know what that means. I said this, so anyway, so I didn't get the guitar. And they made me a vo voice vocal student. So I learned some stuff there. So a little bit, I started to get some stuff about harmonization. And then I've taught at a lot of uh, camps, actually, where there's been just these amazing teachers. Who, and I've sort of tried to pick up what they know. And I've read a lot. I've decided, you know what, I need no more theory. So let's see, I ordered theory for dummies from the internet. And then I went to the Berkeley website and looked at all their songwriting teachers' books. And I ordered the one that said uh, Pericone's Theory of Melody. And I, I learned a lot from that book. So I've kind of kept teaching myself. But I have enough basics from childhood you know, of understanding how to read music and how these things work that I think I could build on it. Another question? Yes, ma'am. As you said earlier, you did the piano training and stuff, but how easy was it for you to learn uh, guitar? I started early, so it, it was, uh, you know, when you're nine, it, you know, they said put your fingers here and then put your fingers here and here, and then you play it all the time. Um, and so for me, it was it was pretty easy, and I've just always played it. It's very, it's almost, I've grown up with it. I've played it now for 45 years, so, you know, it's, like part of me. In fact, I have a problem now because my neck and my shoulder are so connected muscularly that you know, my massage therapist is always trying to disconnect them. Uh, but I know people who pick it up later, later and guitar is one of the, I think, easiest instruments. I mean, ukulele is easier, but if you want to learn guitar, you can, I mean, at my camp, we teach people how to play guitar in a week, you know, and they can play a song by the end of a week. It's, it's a very f rewarding instrument to start playing. Also because it's, it's a, you know, it's this thing against your body. It's, it's, I mean, I would play it all day just so I could hear this thing doing this thing against my body. You know, I think most of us, whatever age we are now, would say that we can identify the music and the artist who we listened to in high school and, um, and college as the catalyst for discovering and sort of kindling right. our life's passions. Whose music moved you in that way? When I was a little girl, I wanted to be Bonnie Raitt. And actually, my husband has met her, because when he was at college, she was there, they're about the same age, so I'm like, you met my, she touched me once at a party. I was so excited, I went to some party, and she had to move me aside so she could go through the crowd, I was touched. Uh, <laughs> I'm a huge Bonnie Raitt fan. Uh, she was, you know, my brother had Streetlights, that, that record, and I was in second grade, and he had the first Walkman. I'd ever seen. So he walks up to me with what looks to me like this little box. I don't know what it is. And he's got these little tiny little things that of course we all know on our headphones, but they didn't look like. And he puts it on and he turns on street lights. And I was totally hooked. So it would be de definitely that. One of the things I find interesting is when I talk to people and, uh, you know, about who were your songwriting heroes and who, who influenced you. And then trying to say, you know, can you hear um, the influences of that person you know, in, in your songs. Uh, do you have, do you, can you identify in, in, your, in any of your songs? Maybe Where early, they come from? Yeah, in terms of the influences. Um, from, 
I also listen to a lot of Peter, Paul, and Mary because my brothers and sister had their records and Joni Mitchell, so a lot of that stuff. Um, but I can't say, if I think about my earlier stuff, it's much folkier than their stuff. They were much poppier than I was. I didn't have the guitar chops to play what I was hearing. It's only now that it, although I sat in bars, I used to play in bars, playing her, her vision. So I really eventually learned it. I would speak her guitar style, but I never really, my, my writing never became from that. So we talked about this earlier, but you know, I, I, another question that we always ask pe people is, you know, what, what was the first song, do you remember the first song you, you ever wrote? And a lot of times I think the answer for most of us is, well, I can't remember it, but I don't remember to play it, you know? Mm -hmm. But so my question, I, I'll, I'll give you, I'll give you uh, a little flexibility on that. Yeah. What's, what's the first song that you would say was a keeper? Oh, I can, that's, it's easy, yep. So uh, when I was 20, uh, 20 or 21, I, uh, I totaled my mother's car while she was on vacation in the Okefenokee Swamp. <laughs> and uh, it, was, it, was, it was totally an accident. I was driving in a blizzard in New Hampshire and my, the car coming at me slid into my lane and we did it really slowly, but you know, still, I totaled her little Subaru. And, uh, and I was sitting in, I may be conflating two different things, but I was sitting in my kitchen feeling just like I needed my mother. And it's long before cell phones. And uh, so I conjured her up. And I have to say that longing feeling, I have written a lot of songs on that. Oh my God, I so badly need to be near this person. That's an incredibly strong feeling. And I just wanted to say, I once heard Robert uh, uh, Bly speak about the fact that creativity, a lot of it is the, we are born with the longing muscle. And the longing muscle is, is, is an important creative event. And, and in our current society, you can get almost anything you want overnight from Amazon. So longing is a hard thing to, but the longing for a person, which you, Amazon will not deliver the next day, for me has often been, I mean, Charlie was once a long, long way on away. And I, I wrote this song just because I, I just wanted to think, be able to think about being with him. So this was me trying to think at very early before I'd written any songs that I kept about how to be with my mom. My mother's hands put four young heads to sleep night after night. The story's been read and the prayers have been said and she'll sing when they turn out the light that I know where I'm going. Turn around, turn around, turn around. There's a long, long trail to wind. kind of say I didn't write the chorus, I just assembled it. There was a velveteen rabbit and Winnie the Pooh. In summer I go to sleep by light. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. God be with you all through the night. And yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow with Noah and all in his ark. I fear no evil, but leave on the hall light Cause I am still afraid of the dark And I know where I'm going Turn around, turn around, turn around There's a long, long trail to winding To where I lay me down There Life is a struggle, and there are days to surrender the fight. I can read my own stories and say my own prayers and even turn out the light. But if I found a lantern and one wish were mine, I think I know what it would be. It would not be fame, and it would not be wealth, just my mother to sing me. 